Hello boys and girls, my name is HotsusT and welcome to another episode in Minecraft. Today we are in a creative copy uh, because I want to show you this. This is what we are aiming for in this episode. The final bit of the creation for the uh, ravine. And it's a wonderful waterfall decorated with uh, glass foam. And uh, I had this idea for a while, so uh, I searched uh, if uh, anyone had uh, done this before. And I think I found some image or some uh, uh, YouTube videos, but uh, for the life of me I cannot find them again and then basically just a few weeks ago uh, uh, beatups did something uh, very similar uh, to to this uh, on the uh, hermitcraft server so uh, that's basically uh, the the template that i uh, i used to go from there but uh, this episode will be more like uh, a tutorial style um, uh, where I uh, walk through the uh, different steps uh, to, uh, to build this, uh, this up. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is create a trench at the bottom so that any water that flows from above will just hit the trench and not spill all over the floor. It makes life pretty much easier. The second thing you should consider is cleaning up the wall because the water that's falling down is partially transparent any block behind the water will shine through and if you have a mix of color there this looks uh, uh, really weird so uh, what I suggest you go for is a mix of gray which basically means uh, uh, stone and Side. You can also mix uh, a bit of uh, a cobble in there. Um, what I did here is uh, basically uh, uh, just remove all the uh, colorful blocks like uh, diorite, granite, sand, sandstone with uh, a stone and I left in the uh, andesite. And then we can start building up the uh, bottom layer of the foam. Um, from here on out, it's it's more like uh, a creative process uh, and and less like a block by by block uh, a tutorial. So what I figured out is when the uh, water falls down, you get this uh, this foam at the uh, bottom that uh, spills out away from the uh, uh, falling water. So what I went for is uh, um, that I have glass blocks uh, uh, up to uh, uh, four blocks out of the water and then maybe uh, three or four uh, uh, in, the, in the height. And of course, this is more like uh, a triangular shape. So uh, in the uh, uh, back bottom corner, there is the most glass and uh, towards the uh, uh, front, uh, we get less and less. And there are also uh, gaps uh, between the blocks because uh, uh, with these gaps, you get the, uh, the edges that uh, just add a bit of, uh, of detail. And then on top of this uh, uh, lower level of foam, 
uh, you play basically place a few selected blocks of uh, of uh, falling foam and these are one or two blocks above the basically solid glass foam you built at the uh, bottom uh, for glass wise I used white glass quite obviously and light gray glass to give it a bit of uh, of contrast uh, I think this this works well and then of course uh, <coughs> when we are coming to the details um, I also use uh, the glass pane variants. Now we are almost finished at the bottom uh, we just want to add a few more details and we do that with the paints. So you want to try uh, to have something between the front and the uh, the back wall for the uh, uh, lowest three layers so you don't directly three see through the uh, uh, foam uh, onto the the rock wall and uh, with the glass panes try to to uh, uh, play around a bit um, so that you basically you're using the glass panes to add more details and all these uh, interconnecting lines that you see through the glass uh, just just add to that and this is basically a very uh, um, time consuming process because you have to place some panes and you have to step back and uh, look uh, if uh, this did what you uh, wanted to. Then we come to the more uh, difficult part uh, at least in uh, uh, survival it's basically the top foam and basically this is basically the reverse of what we uh, uh, did at the uh, at the uh, bottom uh, so in survival I would suggest that you create a, a dirt platform uh, a few blocks uh, below the uh, edge from uh, where you can uh, work on easily because uh, uh, as you place blocks and remove blocks again they will fall down and uh, you can then collect them easily. So to start off uh, basically place uh, a row of white glass blocks uh, away from the uh, from the wall. One block away so that in this one block gap the water would would then fall down and don't go higher than the water because in in real life if you have a look at waterfalls the the water flows over the edge and only then the the foam starts usually it's it's you have a lot more foam at the bottom than at the top but of course this also depends a bit on the uh, on the kind of waterfall um, and then you basically do the reverse process you want to go down maybe four blocks and out uh, three blocks and then also once again have this uh, this uh, triangular shape and try to uh, to have uh, uh, holes in your in your structure and also um, uh, break up the uh, uh, topmost uh, line so uh, that it is not a, a solid uh, glass block line and then again it's time for the paints to add a bit more details and here I 
also uh, placed some single planes, uh, single panes, uh, one block uh, with a one block gap above the uh, uh, top glass block. Uh, so to to basically indicate uh, water sprinkles uh, that happen there. And then of course also use the, the, the panes uh, between the blocks to uh, fill in the gaps and add more details. Uh, same process as uh, at the uh, bottom end. Uh, at the uh, bottom end. And the final thing is the glass pane streaks uh, that basically give uh, the, the water a bit more uh, dynamic uh, when falling down. Um, these are basically two parts at the, uh, at the uh, bottom. It's, it's like uh, the, the foam from the top is uh, is thinning out and towards the uh, bottom uh, it's uh, getting uh, more and more foam so uh, what you see here is basically at the top it's uh, a solid glass panes um, two or three in in height and at the bottom it's basically uh, the, the, the same thing uh, but it's it's broken up so and and this gives like a, a, a bit of a, a hint at the uh, uh, animation and uh, I think uh, this really works out well so this this is actually a trick that I learned from from uh, beatups which by the way is a fantastic builder and uh, you can learn a lot from him um, but I think this does it from the tutorial this does it for this video so let's end it where we started it only this time in uh, survival with a look at the uh, wonderful result we achieved here right as the uh, sun is setting and let's have a flyby so we can have uh, a look at the uh, thing that we built up here I am quite content with the uh, final result here it's about as I envisioned it of course uh, in your mind it's always a bit different but I'm quite happy that I uh, managed to achieve this um, because uh, I'm not the, the greatest builder so uh, I was a bit hesitant if I would be uh, able to to make this but uh, this this is really great hopefully you enjoyed this as well if you did please consider leaving a like and subscribing and I will see you in the next one bye